Good morning, guys. It is Monday, November 26th, and I am sick as a dog. I got here at 6.40 like I normally do. Um, this past weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, see, Friday night, Saturday, and all day yesterday, I was suffering from the stomach flu. I never threw up, but I had all of the other symptoms of the stomach flu, and last night I slept none at all. I have a splitting headache, I have no energy, I feel disgusting, so I put in for a sub to show up at 9.30, the bell just rang, I have to go get my kids, but I put in for a sub to show up at 9.30, hopefully she will show up and I can just go home and sleep and sleep this off, and I need to hydrate because I feel just awful. But um, somebody did show up this morning and left a cute little note and brought us a tree. I didn't know they brought trees. Anyway, so I'm gonna go pick up the kids and we're going to see our reaction of the elf. And then, like I said, I'm leaving early. I'm gonna go home and just rest because I, Yesterday and Saturday, I had to take care of Cash while sick. So I'm going to go home and just hide in my room all day and let Scott take care of the baby. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So I know that I ended yesterday really abruptly, and it's because a lot of things happened. Um, I did end up going home. My substitute arrived right as I came back from um, dropping the kids off-ish and I was able to get out of there and get home. And good thing because I ended up feeling worse yesterday than I did all of the other three days. And I think it's just because I had a combination of stomach ache plus dehydration because I hadn't drank enough water the day before. So, um, yeah, so I'm feeling a lot better today. I have no headache. I still feel a little bit nauseous. I have a little bit of pain. I'm definitely very weak. I think that I've lost a total of nine pounds throughout this flu. And I will tell you guys, I did not throw up one time during this whole flu. So you can do the, you can do the math. I didn't eat a lot because my appetite was just very suppressed. Um, my stomach was very crampy that it was crampy and nauseous which was the extent of my uh, pain and then adding in yesterday's headache and I also had a fever yesterday and all I did yesterday was lay in bed all day and I felt worse so um, but I did manage to hydrate a lot yesterday and rest so I think that's why my body feels so good today hey guys so I'm in the classroom it wasn't left too bad in condition. I noticed that my sub did find my sub tub though, and it looks like she pulled some activities from that. Uh, I'm not sure when she did that in the day, but I don't care because when there's a substitute, my whole mindset is survive. <laughs> so I came in this morning to find our elf. Uh, it looks like her and Darth Vader didn't get along too well this morning or last night um, whenever she got here because it looks like he uh, has put her on the clock. Hopefully she doesn't fall off of there. Uh, that would be traumatic. <laughs> um, that clock isn't right even. It doesn't even have a battery in it. Interesting though, Darth Vader, you scoundrel. So, um, like I said, I'm just gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna just kind of sit and, you know, do as minimum as I can just so that I can really heal and get better. So I'm just collecting all of the work that I assigned yesterday and I'm gonna sit and look at it before I move on. Uh, today is already prepped and ready to go, so I don't really need to worry about that. Hey guys, so I just walked into my classroom, and it looks like our elf and Darth are getting along a little bit better because they're both over here back in their places. She is tucked into the Christmas tree. How cute. She must have been cold or something last night when she got here. Who knows? But 
I am going to get set up for the day. I need to change my plans because I just decided that I was going to teach making conclusions or drawing conclusions instead of what I was going to do. So I'm going to change my plans up in plan book. But I want to show you guys my cute nails. So these are Impress Press On Nails. I love them. They're so practical. What is for breakfast today? Yes, turkey, ham, and cheese breakfast sandwich. Okay. So I didn't go to Starbucks like I said I was going to because I was running a smidge later than normal. So I decided to go ahead and just come to school and just eat whatever they're serving. So ham and cheese breakfast sandwich. That's going to be ham, cheese, and egg. And then for lunch today is, it says cheese pizza, but they usually serve like a bean and cheese burrito or a grilled cheese with whatever it is that's on for the day. So I'm just going to eat school lunch today. No big deal. I have to eat and um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to get set up and then I will catch up with you guys. Oh, I need to change that. Maybe I'll think of something. I don't know. I need to change that soon. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I cannot believe this week is already almost over. Um, I think it's probably because I was not there on Monday, but this week feels really short and it's going by very fast. <sighs> super excited about my lunch today. I ended up packing a lot of really good food, a lot of healthy food, and it's like the first day since I got sick that I'm actually eating like normal. <laughs> um, yesterday, I vlogged on my phone, so I don't know if I'm going to use that footage in this vlog because it was kind of boring. I might just do like a couple highlights, like show you guys where my elf was and stuff like that. Um, but yesterday, <clears throat> By the way, I am hands-free right now. I don't know how long this will last because it's just propped up on my dash. Um, but at least till I get out of the neighborhood. But yesterday I had to go shopping for my secret Santa because a few of us teacher tubers, all the, uh, the best ones, <laughs> all my favorites, um, Darren, Shelly, Casey Morris, Jennifer from Genuine Teaching. I guess I should probably tell you their channel names too. That would be kind of me. Um, who else? Kate the Sleepy Teacher. I'll have to find the list. But anyway, I had to go shopping for my Secret Santa yesterday because I've already been collecting things but I needed to get a few more things because there is a list of rules that I have to follow and like gifts I have to give on certain days even though we all just open it on one, in one sweep. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm gonna turn that light on, oh there we go. Um, but yeah, I had to go shopping for them yesterday <coughs> and we didn't have any groceries so I had to get school lunch, breakfast and lunch. We had like literally no food. Um, my husband and I decided we were just gonna make whatever was in the freezer on Tuesday evening. So that was like French fries and pierogies. <laughs> so I literally had no food yesterday. Um, so I ended up eating all school lunch, which was fine. It was probably good to like catch me up on eating regular food. But I'm happy to be eating healthy again. I think all together, including my flu, I've lost a total of 10 pounds. So that's super exciting. Um, people can't really tell. Some people might, you can kind of tell in my face. I don't have as much as like a double chin. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to be losing some weight. And I would like to get my butt in the gym to, you know, continue doing that. So anyway, I'm at the main road, so I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so I am now at work, clearly. Oh, there she is. There's Ginger. So I thought I would share with you guys what I have in my lunchbox today. So for breakfast, I am having two scrambled eggs with a sprinkle of cheese. 
I'll also be eating a Faye Total Strawberry Yogurt. I like these because they have uh, only 11 grams of sugar, which is actually a lot of sugar, but when you're not really eating a lot of carbs all day, you need sugars. Um, and they have a lot of protein in them, which is good for me. Then I will also be enjoying a banana. For lunch today, I will be enjoying some turkey. This is just the cracked pepper turkey from Boar's Head. And I just crammed like a bunch of it into this protein container. Then I will also be enjoying a small spinach salad with Greek, not Greek dressing, with Caesar dressing on top. And I might like shred this and like put it on top. I also have some strawberries. And then for a snack, I packed some rice cakes. So these are the only carbs I'm really having today. Rice cakes with some whipped Greek cream cheese. And then I like to put cucumber on top. And then for another snack, I have an apple. So that is my lunch today. And my breakfast today. And I also have some peanut butter back there for that apple. So um, that should be pretty delicious. Like I've mentioned before, part of why I haven't been wanting to like eat a whole ton of food is because I'm taking this 5-HTP and this is the natural brand. I know a couple of you asked me what brand it was. So it's the natural brand and I get it at Sprouts. They do have this on Amazon though, so you can order this on Amazon and I take the 100 milligrams. My goal is to drink three of these every day, at least three. So I have to drink two at work and then one at home in the evening. I'm also drinking some rooibos chai tea, and this is the Tazo organic chai. You can kind of see the little thing over here. I already threw the thing away, but um, I'm drinking some tea this morning just to get a little bit of caffeine in me but I really wanna hydrate, so I'm trying to stay away from coffee as much as I can and tea just because I really need to hydrate. Hey guys, so I'm just getting around to eating my yogurt. Um, and I went up to ask my principal a question, but he wasn't there. So um, I wanted to see if I could add in another bit of time in my day for math. Um, just as like a review time and I used to do this program It wasn't like a program. It was just I mean it was a program But it was a thing that they did in the district that I worked in when I first started teaching and it was called they called it math review and Basically it was a time to review any skills from either the grade previous or the skills that you had been working on that kids needed well review on and what they did was they would have three questions they would solve them and then as the teacher you would walk around and choose three people that had solved them correctly and then you would invite those three people up to the board to then model or explain what they did and every step of the way the kids would they would um like star off steps that they did correctly and then they would circle and correct things that they had done incorrectly and then at the end they would do a reflection on why they were successful or why they were not successful and the reflections were like I was successful because I remembered to borrow or I was successful because I added correctly or I was successful because you know whatever or I was not successful because I forgot to borrow, or I was not successful because I subtracted wrong. So it's a way to get kids reflecting on the mistakes that they're making, and if they reflect on one mistake enough, they will stop making that mistake. So I'm thinking about asking my principal if I can do that in the mornings, and then push writing back to the end of the day. Because I've been doing writing in the morning, but I really want to grasp these kids in the morning when they first come in, and math is really, really important. So I'm thinking I might ask him if I can do that. And then 
That way I'll have a whole group math review in the morning, I'll have a whole group math lesson, and then I'll have a 20 minute math intervention so that I can pull kids in small groups. But that will only leave writing 50 minutes of writing at the end of the day, and I will have to incorporate language into that. But I think that that's gonna be pretty easy for me to do. So I'm gonna ask him and see what happens. Good morning guys, I made it to Friday and I'm so excited because today is superhero day at work. So I finally get to wear my read like a hero shirt from Lipstick and Littles. I got this shirt like two weeks ago, but superhero day was already on the schedule at work and I was like, oh, I can't wear it until superhero day. Um, because I am a ambassador for Lipstick and Littles, which means I help to advertise for Lipstick and Littles. I completely support her. I um, have a coupon code for you guys. Uh, it just means that I help her promote. And because I am an ambassador, I get um, super, super extra discounts. And so I was able to purchase a bunch of people at my uh, school these t-shirts as well. So I got one for all of my teammates. I got one for all of the girls that went with me to the AVID conference. I got one for my instructional aide who comes in during our intervention time. And then I got one for our librarian because you can't not get a librarian or read a read t-shirt. So anyways, I'm on my way to work. I have a really busy day ahead of me today. Um, my students earned a pizza party because their blurt beans made it to their final goal. Well, not their final goal, their second goal. Their blurt beans made it to their second goal. Sorry guys, it is dark. It's 624 in the morning in Arizona and it is dark. Um, anyway, so at lunchtime, I'm going to run to Little Caesars and pick up a few pizzas uh, because they wanted a pizza party. So we did a vote and it was funny because we're learning about graphing this week and so I made it into like a whole graphing lesson. We voted for the type of class party we wanted to have. We made a tally chart, we made a frequency chart, we made a pictograph, we made a bar graph and we analyzed the data and we came to the conclusion that a pizza party was the ultimate prize. So at lunch, I'm going to drive to Little Caesars, which is really just on the corner, um, pick up the pizzas, and then we will have our pizza party uh, at the end of the day. So we'll, the pizza will have to sit and cool for like an hour and then we'll have our pizza party. So I thought about serving it during intervention. Maybe I should. I probably should just do that. So that way it's still hot. Um, but Little Caesars is super cheap. If you guys have Little Caesars and you do pizza parties for your kids, Little Caesars is like, I think $6 a pizza. Maybe if that, if you do pepperoni, if you do cheese, I think it's cheaper. But um, yeah, my students earned that. So we're gonna do that. And then, um, what else? Oh, after school today, I have to mail my secret Santa gift out to my secret person um, because I want it to get there before the deadline, which is December 10th, and I want it to be there before then. And this person lives kind of across the country from me, so I want to make sure that I get that out in time. I'm going to move you guys down from the dash to a more safe place. You guys can still see me a little bit, but I am safely driving. So yeah, so I need to go after school and mail that. And it's gonna be a pretty big package. I have to stop at the Home Depot and buy a box so that I can mail it out because I can't just mail this in like a big envelope. Like I need an actual big box to send this thing in. Um, I went a little bit crazy. I always go over budget, but it's just, you can't, like, there's certain things when you see them, you're like, oh, I can't just not get that for them. I have to get that for them. So anyway, that happened. Um, my lunch today, I brought sushi. So I love getting sushi from my grocery store and taking that for lunch because it's so delicious. <laughs> but I also didn't bring a whole lot of food because we are getting pizza and I have been eating so good for the past, like, almost month that I feel like I've earned a slice of pizza. 
So I'm gonna do that. In fact, today the whole day is gonna be a cheat day because my husband and I are going on date night. He took the day off and we are gonna go to Top Golf, which is a place where you like, it's like golf, but it's kind of like bowling. You're trying to hit targets. Um, and we're going with a bunch of uh, his buddies and their girlfriends or wives. So that'll be really fun. We haven't gone out like that in forever. Like we've gone to dinner and we've gone to like breakfast and stuff, but we haven't really gone on like a really nice, fun, like adventurous kind of date. And we're really excited for that. So yeah, tomorrow, Saturday, I have two princess parties, two. So I think I'm gonna try and take you guys with me and make a video out of it and show you guys behind the scenes of a princess event because a lot of you have asked me about that job and it would be nice to kind of like explain it for you just in a whole video rather than like sneak it in one of these vlogs. So I will have two videos for this week-ish, like filmed in this week. I'll have two videos filmed in this week. I don't know if I'll post them like consecutively, like back to back. Maybe I'll do like this vlog for this coming Monday and then I'll post the princess one the next week. That way maybe I can have a week off from vlogging. I will see you guys later. Um, our poor elf fell yesterday, so I'm interested to see if she's there today, number one. Number two, if she is hurt at all. So, um, yeah, so I'll update you guys when I get to school.